Twitter's current lords and peasant system for who has or doesn't have a blue check mark is a bunch of bull. Power to the people. Blue for eight dollars a month, said Elon Musk, not knowing the levels of power he just gave the trolls on his newly acquired platform. So, let's see what people did with their newly purchased blue check marks, shall we? Rockstar Games tweets, On November 18th, 2022, we will proudly present you to the latest entry in Grand Theft Auto series. We've been waiting to show you this one. Hashtag GTA 6. Oh, we'll be waiting a while for that one. We have a highly official tweet from the President of the United States. I'm over here stroking my I got lotion on my D right now. <laughs> Mr. President. You wanna know why the President has been in such activities lately? Maybe it's because Roblox tweets. We're adding sex to Roblox. Yeah, the spelling really makes this tweet. Or maybe it's not because of that tweet, but because of this one. Game Freak says, yeah, you can F the Pokemon in the new one. Lockheed Martin tweets, we will begin halting all weapons sales to Saudi Arabia, Israel, and the United States until further investigation into the record of human rights abuses. Hashtag we are LM. I've heard tweets like these are actually making their stock fall. Like, did they not get the memo that the check marks are basically meaningless now? McDonald's tweets, we at McDonald's take the environment very seriously. That's why we're introducing our One Burger, One Rat initiative. Instead of poisoning the rats we find in a restaurant, each burger will feature the sustainable local meat. Check out the brand new McRat. Maybe that's why the last Big Mac I ate tasted a little different. Chiquita Brands, the banana company, says we've just overthrown the government of Brazil. Ah shit, here we go again with the banana republics. And then what appears to be their official Twitter, although it could just be another fake, says we apologize to those who have been served a misleading message from a fake Chiquita account. We have not overthrown a government since 1954. Again, did they finally admit it, or is this a fake? And now even Jesus Christ is getting verified, we may have the second coming here, who has two thumbs and verified? That guy right there. This dude's profile says carpenter, healer, and God. Located in Israel, and links the Wikipedia page for Jesus Christ. Damn, this dude joined in October 2006? The real Elon Musk, 100% true, trust me, says sometimes I get sad and feel like I should quit tech and go back to being a simple, self-made emerald miner. Oh god. Although trust me, he was not just a miner. And Ted Cruz says the first time I entered my human wife, I said, groaning into her ear, this is exactly how mother said it would feel. Hold up. I know it's a troll, but hold up. Ben Shapiro in quotes replies, OMG, you got me kind of in the mood right now, Mr. Cruz. Facts and logic just have them acting different. And Tesla will be offering 10,000 vehicles to support the Ukrainian military. Our cars are the most advanced explosive devices on the market. Oh my god. And speaking of explosive Tesla vehicles, McDonald's tweets, due to recent circumstances, we've had to make the difficult decision to ban Tesla vehicles from McDonald's drive throughs Shows a McDonald's on fire. Holy shit. The McRib may be around for only a limited time, but the damage it will inflict on your arteries is forever. Heart emoji. Well, isn't that so sweet? Help me. We have been informed that two children were found in a McDonald's ball pit, claiming to have been the children of Elon Musk who dropped them off there. Please, Elon, come pick them up. They've been in the ball pit for two years now. Elon Musk is too busy banning trolls who will just keep coming back because it's the internet. What do you expect? And this is an actual tweet, not a troll tweet. Going forward, any Twitter handles engaging in impersonation without clearly specifying parody will be permanently suspended. And then this dude just decided to speedrun getting banned from Twitter. I am Elon Musk. This is not a parody. I repeat, this is not a parody. I am unbannable. Elon, please. Ah oh, shit, I just exposed myself. Ah, Jesus Christ has returned once again to give us blessings. Your prayers are meaningless without action. Honestly, Twitter Jesus is speaking facts. Not even kidding. Nestle tweets, We steal your water and sell it back to you, lol. Look at that Twitter handle. A death cult, huh? Closer to the truth than you might think. 
American Girl tweets, which American Girl doll do you think served the most and why is it Samantha? <laughs> oh my god. Ever since this happened, Twitter has just been a comedy goldmine. Elon Musk tweets, There is nothing better than waking up and enjoying a fresh steaming cup of my own urine. Such a tangy way to start the day. And it's scientifically proven to help brain cells grow. If you want to be like me, drink your pee. <laughs> and that is how you take the first step towards that billionaire grind set. Robotussy tweets it's official, finally we are releasing the heavily requested adults only formula. Find out more at robotussy.com slash adult robotussy. And you know it's gotta be maximum strength. Oh, another Ben Shapiro one, the difference between sex and gender is I've never wanted to have gender with my sister. Hmm, Major Dad asks, are you guys affiliated with the FBI, the female body inspectors, and the US Department of Breast Services tweets, they handle enforcement. We handle regulatory compliance for chest-based affairs only. We also work with the Paranormal Investigation Bureau. Investigation. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, then why not like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell? Oh, Jesus isn't the only one coming back. We got George Washington coming back too. Hello, peasants. I was rolling around in my grave and I have decided to resurrect great things to come. Why not resurrect Steve Jobs while you're at it? Oh, wait. Steve Apple tweets, I literally can't change my name because your Tesla engine oobs screwed up the code. And this was in response to Elon Musk's real tweet who says, going forward, accounts engaged in parody must include parody in their name, not just in the bio. Well, that kind of ruins the surprise, doesn't it, Elon? But then Steve Apple replies, I will sue Elon Musk if he bans me. Nintendo of Europe tweets white people watching adult content with condoms on. Yeah. BP Global tweets, just cause we killed the planet doesn't mean we can't miss it, sad face. We're super sorry about spilling all that oil everywhere. Mr. Bean says, who wants Mr. Bean to eat their coochie tonight? Well, just make sure to drink some Robitussi first. The adults only formula. SpaceX breaking news. And you know it's official because it has official with two L's at the end. It is with a heavy heart that we announce that we will be ceasing all missions. We plan to funnel $240 million in outstanding government subsidies to groups dedicated to sustainable agriculture and ending world hunger. We cannot look to other planets to solve our problems here. Why are the trolls speaking more facts than the original accounts? It's almost like these companies have something to hide. Hmm. Tesla tweets, our cars do not respect school zone speed limits. F them kids. Guess who's back? It's the Don. Donald J. Trump is back in a huge way. Who up playing with they worm? Looks like Biden isn't the only one engaged in such activities. My good friend Elon Musk has officially resurrected my Twitter account. If only he could resurrect our good friend Epstein, oh goodness, so he could see my glorious return to the best social media platform ever. Um, let's just move on. And now it looks like the troll is being taken to the next level. Because now we have a Twitter account faking the check marks with a free extension. You can just put the check mark on anyone, any tweet, and basically impersonate the impersonators. You don't even need to pay $8 a month for this one. SpaceX tweets, I know we said we'd be on Mars by now, but it turns out it's really far away. Yeah, just some slight miscalculations on our end. It happens to the best of us. Ooh, looks like Coca-Cola may be bringing back the real original formula. If this gets a thousand retweets, we will put the real Coke back in Coca-Cola. That's one way to get customer loyalty, I suppose. Volve Softworks says, Hello, it me, Volve, and I am here to announce Half Guy 3 out tomorrow, real, not fake, trademark. People often ask why we at SpaceX have accepted billions in government subsidies during our lifespan to do one-fourth of what NASA pulled off decades ago, but with a privatized company. We don't have a good answer, but people often ask us, and we just like money. Someone told Elon his D would be bigger on Mars, and that's honestly what all of this has been about. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised, because it seems like most of Elon Musk's business decisions are based on memes. And now the actual official account for Washington State's Department of Natural Resources is actually doing a little bit of trolling themselves. Update. 
The Twitter wildfire is at 44 billion acres and 0% contained. Highly recommend following at WADNR Fire for actual wildfire updates, by the way. And yes, we're an actual state agency account just having some fun in the madness. Our friends at WAEMD had a great thread about sussing out legitimacy of government Twitter accounts. And this agency does a lot of memeing on their Twitter, even way before the whole blue checkmark trolls. Even the queen has come back! Thank you, too many impersonators out there. There's only one queen. And the U.S. Department of Education says pleased to announce that all current loan balances with the Department of Education have been reduced to zero, thanks to a generous donation from Mr. Elon Musk. We applaud him for his dedication to making education accessible for all. More details to come. Hashtag student loan forgiveness. Why, thank you very much, Mr. Elongated Musk. Eli Lilly and company tweets, we are excited to announce insulin is free now. Another tweet which may have affected their stock price. And a spokesperson for pharmaceutical giant Eli Lilly says they're in communication with Twitter to address the fake but verified tweet that has been up for three hours and has 1,500 retweets and 10,000 likes. Yet they won't address the outrageous insulin prices. Hmm. And Pepsi finally admits it on Twitter. Coke is better, especially with that throwback formula they're about to release. But the person who liked it is called Elon Musk Fondles Dogs, bro. But turns out Twitter isn't the only one trolling with blue check marks. Tumblr decided to troll Twitter by selling not one but two important blue internet check marks. Many want it, few can get it. On Tumblr, it's available for everyone. Purchase today and get two blue check marks for $7.99. Whoa! No need to call. Coveted status symbol, and now you can have one too without having to be verified by the Tumblr staff. And of course, be a very important person on the internet. Stand out from the rest by displaying not one but two blue check marks next to your blog name. Which blog you decide. This is not a verification status, it's an important blue internet check mark, which in 2022 is just as legit. Also, the important blue internet check mark may turn into a bunch of crabs at any time. But turns out on Tumblr, you can basically have unlimited check marks. Guys, I saw a post that said it maxed out at 24, so I just kept buying them, thinking eventually I would get a little message saying I had the max amount, but guys, it didn't. It didn't. It just keeps going. The check marks, unlimited power, unlimited importance, unlimited check marks. They have like 30 check marks on their Tumblr. But well, it looks like all good trolls must come to an end because Twitter appears to have paused its Twitter Blue subscription service, which allowed people to pay for that sweet, sweet blue check mark. And thus, this chapter of internet trolling has come to a close. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Amethyst Phoenix, Cranjus McBiscuitball, Dark Garden, DJ, Jade Demby, Catalan Cormetti, Nightcrawler, Spoonie the Rogue, and our newest member of the royalty, Storm. From Cloud the Wolf. You can join in the link below and thank you so much for watching. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, why not leave a like, comment if you have something interesting to say, or subscribe if you want to see more.